welcome back to my channel this video about the yeah, poco m2 smartphone unboxing and my first impression um, guys i have already posted the redmi 9 prime smartphone unboxing and first impression with its camera samples so similarly i am going to now showcasing the poco m2 smartphone well why i am telling about redmi 9 prime smartphone means almost both the redmi 9 prime and this poco m2 smartphone are similar only xiaomi has actually brings the same smartphone in the two different model name with the two different brand name so this is the poco m2 smartphone and similarly this smartphone is uh, launched earlier in the name of the redmi 9 prime smartphone now in this video i am going to talk about this poco m2 smartphone and my first impression with its camera sample and all other details about this smartphone now let's get started into this video guys and guys the, this is the poco m2 box so this is the box similar to the poco x3 smartphone and rear side we have uh, some of the few specs detailed it has a full hd plus 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio display and it uh, protected with the corning gorilla glass and it has a mediatek helio g80 browser and then it has a uh, powers with the 5000 mh of battery and it has a type c port uh, as a connectivity also it is a reversible connector and then it has a 13 megapixel a quad camera and it supports uh, depth plus macro too and this is the uh, color comes with the slate blue and it has a 6 gb plus 120 gb memory variant and this smartphone is almost similar to the recent launch of the redmi 9 prime smartphone the redmi 9 prime will comes with the only 4 gb as the ram model but this is fully similar to the redmi 9 prime but comes with the 6 gb as the ram model so now, now let's unbox this package so after unboxing in the small box you will get a sim ejector pin after that here is an user guide user manual then this is the poco m2 smartphone this late blue color and apart from that you will get two more colors and here you will get a usb type c port cable and this is the 10 watts fast charging adapter so that's all the box content so in the box you will not get any protective tfu case now this is the smartphone the smartphone is really looks cool it has an anti fingerprint coating as like a redmi 9 prime smartphone but the only similarity in the rear side is that in the redmi 9 prime the smartphone is designed with a circular de design shape around this uh, camera module but in this poco m2 you will not get like that circular design around this camera module but and similarly you will get a two different uh, shades of uh, design at the rear side in redmi 9 prime the design will be the full rear panel design will be same but here in poco m2 you will get a shining blue color design and on the bottom of the rear panel you will get some of the texture which gives a good uh, feel on holding uh, so similarly it has an anti fingerprint coating so it comes with the aura design as like a redmi 9 prime smartphone now on the physical overview firstly on the top side here is an ir blaster and then a primary microphone and and at the left side is a sim sim ejector slot so this sim ejector slot uh, will support uh, let's check yeah this slot is supported with the dedicated sd card slot post dedicated sd card slot so you can put a dual nano sim and plus sd card at the same time and after that at the bottom now here you will get a 3.5 audio jack secondary microphone usb type c port for charging this uh, smartphone and then a yeah, speaker grill and then on the right side here is a volume keys and a yeah, power on off button the button function is also good then on the rear side here is the quad camera setup so in this quad camera setup, triple cameras along with the fingerprint scanner is equipped and the fourth camera is equipped aside along with the led flash so it supports 13 megapixel a quad camera in addition to that 8 megapixel ultra wide angle and 2 megapixel portrait and 2 megapixel macro lens are equipped and after that beneath you will get a poco branding and uh, on the front side moving on to its front side so the 
smartphone is already pre-applied with the uh, screen protector and similarly this display is protected with the corning gorilla glass support it might be this corona glass 3 i think and this display is based on a mini drop notch design and inside the notch you will get a 8 megapixel as a selfie camera and overall that's all about this physical overview and let's find how this device works and what are the things it contains and its camera samples all the things we can explore and guys i have set up the device so this smartphone has uh, comes with a new update so once you turn on the smartphone you will get a new system update the update is the new camera update you will get a watermark and then a, a full screen mode in the camera and after that uh, this is based on android 10 operating system and uh, and moving on to storage so this is a 120 gb storage model so out of 120 gb you will get a 110 gb as the available memory and the system storage is occupied is around 15.26 gb and apart from the non-system storage itself you will get uh, only apps and apps data itself included with the 1.84 gb so since this smartphone has included some of the third party apps so here is almost seven to eight third party apps is installed pre-installed in this smartphone in case if you don't want that installed application you can anyhow anyhow you can easily uninstall this app application so this will give you a further uh, storage increase in your uh, our total available in your total available memory then this smartphone is uh, comes with the rear mounted fingerprint scanning and the fingerprint scanning is also quick fast so it quickly activates uh, and it quickly unlocks the smartphone and there is no issue on the fingerprint scanning so it quickly unlocks and then now let's move on to its camera performance so this is the camera quality you will get so this is the normal photography i have captured so as of now so it supports 2x zoom in under 2x zoom also it uh, still managed to produce the detail and the color production is also too good so it has a good color reproduction and as you see in this uh, actual uh, matte color and this uh, picture captured so it is actually uh, having a good color reproduction now let's look on to the more camera sample of this poco m2 smartphone and guys these are all the photos taken in the artificial lighting condition so in these photos I, it has a good color of saturation and the color details is also good and similarly the background bokeh is also good and likewise the it has a good hdr mode too now let's see its uh, photo samples in the uh, natural lighting condition in natural lighting condition also it uh, produces a very good uh, photo samples it has good hdr mode uh, here also and similarly in natural lighting condition you will get a good sharpness in the picture output picture so overall it has comes with that 13 megapixel of a primary camera so for this it will produce very good camera samples in the natural lighting condition next next moving on to the selfie camera so in selfie camera in uh, artificial lighting condition here in selfie side the photos is slightly lacks in color saturation apart from that the photo quality is almost good but not that much too good but in the natural lighting condition you will get a very good photo samples in the under the selfie camera as you see in here it has a good sharpness of the picture and it has a good color, color saturation and similarly in selfie also it has a very good hdr mode so even though i am capturing in the direct sunlight also the subject is very clear and it uh, able to produce all the details in the subject so what do you guys think about these pictures and and likewise this is the photo shots through the macro camera the macro camera has comes with the 2 megapixel resolution and it can be able to capture up to 3 centimeter of uh, total distance so what do you guys think about this macro shots so this macro shot is also comes with the good colors and it has a good details so overall it has a good looking photos so what do you guys think about all these photo samples from this poco m2 smartphone let me know in the comment section below so finally these are all the camera samples which are shot in this poco m2 smartphone now what do you guys think about this poco m2 smartphone and soon i try to compare these camera samples poco m2 camera samples with the redmi 9 prime camera sample and let's check uh, which smartphone is performs well so let's get all these details in the upcoming video so stay tuned guys so that's all about this video guys so hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys